So once again, greetings here from Pennsylvania up in the Delaware Water Gap. Of course, if you've been following me, I've been filming a number of videos up here today. I'm still finishing up my one hike here along the, what's called the Two Ponds Trail at the Pocono Environmental Education Center. But on the way home, I'm going to take you with me a little bit as I make my way out of the Delaware Water Gap. We're going to do one of our, my videos where I take you with me as I'm driving a little bit on the dash cam and then a couple places I like to stop at, like I said, some of the more of the back roads. Uh, one place is an old church, and then another one is like an old spring house. We'll see if we can get to that one. And then we'll just, whatever else we come along, maybe we'll stop at a few other places too. But a lot of you know that, you know, the Delaware Water Gap, they were going to dam up the Delaware River, and it was going to be the Tox Island Dam, but they never did that. But they seized a number of the properties here, well, more than a number, using eminent domain. And well, I got real wind breezy out here coming across the pond. But uh, a lot of the old homes got torn down or some were burned down because of arson. But there are a few left, like that old church and that spring house, which I think we can drive to, but we'll see. But anyway, I'm going to quit yapping. I'm going to finish up this hike. Then when we get back to the Jeep, we'll take off and uh, go for a little drive together and maybe stop at a few places. All right, so we are leaving the Pocono Environmental Education Center. Just got done hiking the Two Ponds Trail. And we're going to head back down to... Uh, Briscoe Mountain Road to the main drag, Route 209. Like I said, we're just going to go for a drive together, maybe stop at a couple places, like I mentioned, and who knows what else. Who else, what else, depends on what else I see as we're driving along. It's just absolutely beautiful day. May 6th. Actually, that mountain in front of you that you're seeing through the gap in the trees, that's New Jersey over there, just across the river. Yeah, so down at the bottom here is Route 209. And we're going to turn right and start, you know, heading towards home. But then we're going to get off, like I said, get off the main highway here. All right, let's see what we can find. Looking for River Road. Actually, one of the forts, you know, I'm doing that French and Indian War series. One of those forts was up here. I think the last one that's on my list. Fort Hind Hindshaw or something it's called. I know I saw the historical marker on the way up. If I can find a place to pull over, we might stop and look at it. So I just quick pulled in here. I'd seen this a number of times driving up through here. But this is the Bushkill Dutch Reform Church. Old church building here. Yeah, I forgot I had wanted to stop in here. There's a cemetery here, so let's just uh let's just have a look around. Quaint little spot. Beautiful flowers growing in here. Not sure how old this church is. But maybe we'll walk up to the church in a little bit, see if we can see a date on it. That's nice. Just says JJ Smith and wife. No dates or anything. Big old cedar trees. 
Hey, look at all the beautiful flowers over there. These look like they have some age to them. Let's see if we can read any dates. Here's a Civil War veteran. Schoonover, 1825 to 1909. So they do have some age. What's this one? Oh, this is just an old, this is just a stone. It's not even like a regular tombstone. How does that say? Hmm. Yes, yeah, so as always, these are a bit difficult to read. Looks like it says Tetler. It looks like an H. I think it says, I'm guessing it might say. Pretty sure I see a date of 1818 there, aged 42. I like all the way back into the woods over there. Wow, I'm gonna walk up these flowers. I mean, minus the traffic, that's a beautiful scene right there. Okay, so now that's a beautiful scene. Traffic's behind me now. But man, if I'd be buried somewhere, right in the middle of all those yellow flowers. Here's one we can read. James Dickinson, 1824 to 1917. Yeah, I mean, like I said, they just go back all back in the woods. There's more here than I thought there was. That is a beautiful scene right there. The flowers, the old church in the background. What did this guy say? This guy died in 1861. There's a Samuel Turn, 1823 to 1902. Glad we stopped here. Oh, what's this? There's a name for you, Nettie. It's like an old-fashioned name. These look a little newer, though. These are some newer ones back here. All right, I think we'll go back. I like the old ones. Yeah, look at that, you can see the, all the old tombstones, big cedar trees, the old church back there. And I almost drove past this spot. I quick slammed on the brakes and pulled in. That's why I didn't film myself pulling in. I just kind of pulled in here last minute. Let's see, in 1825. All right. Yeah, if you just got rid of the Highway and the highway noise. This would be an awesome location. I mean, it still is, but even more so. But that's the way it is. Look at that. That's a beautiful scene right there. Yeah, up here on the front porch of the church, we have a dead animal, or what's left of it. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to touch it. That is a cool skull. I think I'll just leave it here though.
I collect skulls sometimes, but I think I might just leave that one there. All right, so let's get back on the road. I'm not sure if we'll be able to stop where that fort is located, like I said. But if I can find a place to pull over, we will. If not, we just won't be able to. But I think there's a road right next, but we'll see. Anyway, let's get going. Like I said, we're gonna get away from the busy highway and get some more of the back roads a little bit here. All right, goodbye, nice cemetery. It's a beautiful one with all those flowers. All right. But back to reality, we got a red light. Fort Henshaw is over here. I'm gonna pull over right. It's right over here. Put my flashes on. Okay, let's quick read this. It's a busy road here. Yeah, Fort Henshaw, I guess I'm saying that right. Built in 1756 by order of the province of Pennsylvania, northernmost of the line defense is erected during the French and Indian War. All right, now just to get out of here, so I don't know exactly where the fort was around here. Make sure there's some stonework up there, but I doubt that's the fort. I'll have to do more research on that. Anyway, we will be back here someday again when I get up this way for my French and Indian War series. Yeah, I wanted to pull down that road, but that's a one way, so anyway, let's get going. I gotta get across here without getting killed. All right, time to get moving again. Yeah, not the safest road to pull over on. But I think River Road is the next left up here. I'm gonna get off this busy highway. Oh yeah, here's the entrance. All right, I think this is River Road up here. Yep. So at this point, we're technically out of the Delaware Water Gap recreation area, but we're gonna, this road will take us back in. All right, so I had to stop and back up. I almost missed this. There is a Someone has a Bigfoot silhouette off there in the woods. Kind of caught me by surprise. He said, here's a sign, we're entering the Delaware Water Gap again. All right, so I'm looking for a church, Zion United Methodist Church, or I think it might be Methodist, or maybe it's Lutheran, I forget. But it was built in 1851, and it was one of the one of those structures that survived, you know, the government takeover of these lands in the Gap. Like I said, a number of the buildings were torn down. Some got burned down by arson because they were left abandoned. Some, some people burned them down. Beautiful drive back here. No traffic. What's this? These are historical sign here. Dutch settlers. Let's stop and read that. I can back up on these roads. Actually, we'll get out of the Jeep and uh, take a look at that. 
All right, let's see what this says. Historical sign, Dutch settlers. First European settlers in this region were the Dutch who came over the old mine road. Oh, that's over in New Jersey. Traveling from the Hudson to the Delaware, crossing at Walpack Bend. They, end, they then used this road, oldest in Monroe County. All right, cool. <laughs> we're on the oldest road in Monroe County. Actually, yeah, over there's New Jersey. The old mine road is down that way. And there's Naomi. There's a beautiful shot of her. All right, so I have to make a correction. We're not gonna we're not gonna stop at that church first. I just check double check the map. We're gonna see if we can get to a place called Owens Spring House first. I'm not sure how accessible it is. It's gonna be if we can actually drive there or not. But we'll find out together. I think this might be our turn off down here. Yeah. Freeman Track Road. Yeah, that's what we want. How far down we'll be able to go? I don't know. Oh, there's another little old spring house down here. Oh, cool. If you can see it down there, let's, we'll pull over. That's not what I was looking for, but we'll stop and have a look at it. So that is what's fun about just doing this. I don't do this more often where we just drive around places like this. I did not know this one was here. Let me turn it around. Cool little spring house on the side of the hill. I mean, it's just a reminder that this whole area used to be have houses and farms around here and these these are kind of leftovers of that yeah so down there it is and I can hear water coming out of it they've got a sign over here too I don't think it's telling us what it is naturally occurring spring water may not be suitable for human consumption okay but wow look at that old place there's a little trail you can hear that sound of water Oh, we can go in too. Oh, wow. Let me back up. This place is really cool. All right, there's a cool shot of it. So, you know, we're going to check it out. Go inside in a moment there. All right. It's old slate roof. And you can hear the water just bubbling out everywhere. Pretty dark in here, but yeah, old spring house just flowing. I mean, it's just flowing right out of the ground here. They would use get their water from here. They would store items that they needed to stay chilled in here. Now you can see it. Yeah, that good flowing right out. Little hole there. Wow. Walk over here. Let's turn the other down. Yeah, I mean, those walls are original. This looks, I mean, behind it is the original stone wall. If you can see it up there, but this looks new or like reinforced. This part here. And you can see what's left of the door. Cool. All right, I love places like this. Man, I would love to own an old historic place, home, and have an old spring house like this. I know there's a lot of things I want. You can't have everything though, but... All right. Awesome find. Oh yeah, so there's like a little dam. So this whole area is probably filled with water in here. And there's Naomi. All right, cool, let's see what else we find out here. All right, so we were looking for a spring house. That's just not the one I was looking for, but we'll take it. So I'm not sure how far down this road we'll be able to go. But we're gonna find out.
We're definitely off the beaten track now. This road's not even paved. That is just a trailhead for something, I guess. Okay, down there is the Delaware River. Looks pretty muddy because all the rain we had yesterday. Parking for the trails. Okay, so it looks like we can keep going. Maybe we'll pull over and take a look at the river right here, maybe. Yeah, I just love these back these back roads. <laughs> she loves them too. She's in her element out here. Go down there's the Delaware, and over there's New Jersey. But what have we here? A little tiny waterfall. You know, I see another spring house up there too. I don't know if that's the one that's Owen's spring house, but we'll find out. Let's we'll quick go down here. Oh yeah, just a little waterfall. We'll take it. I want to quick show you these flowers too. These are violets, but these are my favorite. I have not seen these for a while. Not that one. Where are you? Right here's one. They're white with the pur blue or purple center. We had these on the farm that I grew up on. I grew all over the yard. All right, that brings back memories. All right, let's go see what that spring house is. All right, let's go see what this spring house is. I'm not sure if it's the one I'm looking for. I feel like that one is up a bit further. Well, we can always keep driving. Might as well just follow this road. Yeah, here it is off this side there. Just gotta find a place to pull over. All right, yeah, let's check this one out. Oh, this is where our little waterfall is coming out of. We were just down the bottom there, coming from our spring house. You know, very similar to the other one. Slate roof. You can hear the water coming out down there. Let's take a look in. carpenter bees at this one. This one's a little different. Oh yeah, that's a deep, deeper pool than the other one. Wow. Cool. All right. Man, I love that old stone work. All right, let's keep going. See what else is down here. Oh, there's a squirrel. Run across the road. It looks like we have a split. Not sure where that, oh, we'll just keep going straight. Just gonna go exploring.
Those white trees, those are flowering dogwoods. There's probably a lot more hidden off in the woods on either side. I am seeing some different trails going off into the woods. Across a power line here. And I think... Owen Spring might just be past that power line crossing. If I remember from seeing the map. We'll find out in a moment here. Not seeing anything. Alright, maybe I was wrong about that. I mean, who knows, maybe that was Owen Spring, that last one we saw. Easily could have been. Yeah, so the further down we drive, I'm pretty sure that second spring that we visited was what's called Owen's Spring. Road's getting a little worse. Whoo, there we go. That's a pothole. But Naomi loves them. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and follow this road. I know it dead ends down here somewhere. Who knows, maybe there's something else down here. And then we'll go looking for that church. What would be really cool is if a bear just came out and out into the road. Could get it on the dash cam. And this road just goes on forever. Alright, so I found a place to turn around. I think we're going to go ahead and head back. As fun as this is, it's not taking me to where I want to go. The roads get a lot more rougher back there, too. It's probably a good place to turn around. It's beautiful back here, though.
All right, so we gotta take this road all the way back, and then we're gonna look for that church. So that definitely was Owen's Spring, the second one. Not sure what the first one was called or if it even has a name. All right, I'm gonna turn you off for a bit until we get to our, till closer to where the church is. Well, up here is the spring house again. And some road traffic. All right, so we're back on pavement, back on River Road. Had to pull over at a branch stuck under the Jeep. Heard this like weird dragging noise. That's something you want to hear when you're like two hours from home, but it was just a, it was just a branch stuck under the Jeep. And it was dragging along the road as I was driving. I don't know if you can see them off the left, but there's a tons of those tons of those flowering dogwood trees blooming. I'm not sure if the dash cam is catching them. It's just a beautiful drive. Slow down, Zion Church Road, next to right. So that is where our church is located. Man, beautiful place to have a church back here. Is this it? Yeah, Church Hill Road is what we want. The church should be up. Up here somewhere. Oh, there it is. I see it up on the hill there. Okay, cool. Wow, this is a road. Yeah, you can see it off to your right there. Up oh, there's the cemetery. All right, cool. All right, so this is a super cool scene. You got this old church. It's the Zion Evangelical Lutheran Church. I think I said United Methodist earlier. My apologies. <laughs> it's got the old slate roof. Yeah, this church suffered a lot of, you know, damage over time. I think it was, you know, it was abandoned. I think there were actually squatters living in here. They did a lot of damage to the interior. But man, across the road, beautiful old cemetery on the hill. Man, if that just doesn't look... That's, yeah, that just looks so inviting. I don't, I don't know if that's the word to use, inviting, but... Yeah. As I say, I hear a lot of bees. There's a ton of bees at the top. I think they're those carpenter bees. They love to dig holes in that old, that old wood. There's Zion Evangelical Lutheran, 1851. So my guess is the place is locked. Yeah, 
And since we're here, let's just go for a, a little stroll in the uh, cemetery on the hill. Some more flowers growing over there. Oh, we have some older dates here, though. Susanna, wife of Peter Tribble, born 1785, died in 1872. Okay, so there are some older ones. This must be her husband over here. Or maybe not. No, it's not. Or is it? Yeah, I think it is. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. He was born 1779. Yeah, so there are some. I'm guessing that's when this church was built, 1851. So maybe they were meeting here before then. Because I am seeing some really old ones half buried in the ground. It was in 1832. Yeah, some of these are difficult to read. Yeah, the oldest ones are in the back and down, down this way, closest to the church. Here's a Civil War soldier. Memory of John Michael, born 1817. Died in 1868. That's probably a newer, that looks like a newer stone for an older grave. You know, sometimes they do that, replace the older ones. Well, let's just go walk all the way to the top since we're here. And there's a scene for you. You got the old graveyard, the old church, mountains off in the distance. Got Naomi down there. Yeah, a lot of these up here are newer. From what I read, they're still using the cemetery. At least the families that, you know, have relatives, I guess you could say, in here. So up here is most a lot of newer stuff. So up behind this cemetery, I noticed there's like this little road going up here. And Looks like there's some sort of foundation up here. Off in the distance, so I'm gonna go check that out. Since I'm up here. And I have been deceived, it's just a rock. Because it's like layers, I look like stacked stone from way back there. Definitely goes on, I mean right down there's our church. All right. I have no idea where this goes though, so I probably won't. Although, I'd really like to know. It looks like it's been driven on even recently. It just goes on and on. All right, without really knowing what's back there, I probably won't do it today. That's the problem with these adventures. You know, even when we were on that dirt road, you know, I saw all kinds of pullovers and other trails going off and you're just kind of wondering where all that goes and you know I don't have the time to do it all today but you know I, I kind of file things away they get lost up there sometimes but you know I'll, I'll remember that back there maybe I just do you know look up a little bit some research or in satellite images see if anything's back there looks like it gets used sometimes though anyway just making our way back down here's a huge stone what this one right here is doing. Is this someone's? I'm not entirely sure what this one is. It doesn't have anything written on it. Right here is Bauer. Huge piece of granite. But he was in World War II. Robert Stanley Bauer. All right, let's head back down. Just one last look. 
I just love that scene. The old cemetery on the hill and the old church. All right, so I didn't quite make it down to the Jeep yet. I just kind of plopped myself down here in the middle of the cemetery. It's just, it's just a lovely day out here, beautiful day. I do want to thank all of you who do support my channel. Probably don't thank you enough sometimes, but you know, I, all of you who watch, you know, my Patreon supporters, all you send gifts and stuff, just makes doing stuff like this possible. I mean, I, you know, I feel spoiled. I feel, I mean, I'm blessed just to be out here to do this. You know, drive around, beautiful day, visit so many waterfalls today, other trails, and it just this place is just something about this cemetery and church is just beautiful. But anyway, thank you for that. I know it allows me to share this stuff with you guys too. I know some of you can't make it out to these places, but thanks. <laughs> I mean that really. I just I just kind of plopped down. I took some pictures for Instagram out there, and I was like, man, this is just just great to be out here. Anyway, <laughs> enough of that. I'll probably end the video here. Um, I don't have anything else planned to visit, and it's getting a little bit later. And if we continue down River Road, we'll soon be out of the Delaware Water Gap again. So I think. I'll just say goodbye here. I might just, who knows, if I do find something, I'll continue to film. And I'll have to make another outro, but anyway, as always, thanks for coming along, and uh, I'll see you around.